Each one for money, signing in. Hey, buddies, welcome back to part four of the 2D platform of Suez Plus and the SFML library. So, this is the fourth part, so be sure to be sure you're caught up on all the other parts before Karen. This isn't part four, part six. What am I saying? So, this is part six. Catch up on everything before this tutorial. But if you guys are all good to go, head on over to your code blocks project file. So, last tutorial, we got the player class updating. We use we're passing it some boolean arguments, updating the x velocity and the y velocity. So in this tutorial, we're going to be working on setting some more variables for the player class. And hopefully, if we have time for it, we're going to get around to actually having draw a sprite on the screen. So, uh, so uh, countdown timer, activate. Oh, there you are, countdown timer, thanks. Alright, so let's begin the official coding countdown timer. A, enter, and let's get coding. So first... Let's clean up a little bit of the code here because I realized that there is a more efficient way to set the x velocities, which are floats, than doing what's called what is this called? It's called, um, <laughs> ah, I got it. Setting default arguments. Ah, there's a more efficient way than setting default arguments. So we copy these out. Control X is cut. So cut those lines out there at the end of update. Cut those arguments out don't need them there's a more efficient way to do it so to do it the better more efficient way is you'll see public here so class player class public right here this is where we want to tuck those suckers so put those suckers there and yeah no copy and paste them from there to there and add semicolons at the end of this so actually we don't have to set these to zero here all we have to do here is just declare them so what this does is just creating the x velocity and the y velocity it's not setting them to anything yet it's just saying hey compiler x velocity and y velocity they're created they're there good to go so now player class here this is the constructor so like when you see the class name again that means it's constructor so in the in the constructor here take out that crappy c l j o wet g u huh what does that even mean huh maybe martians like wrote, wrote that or something but whatever take that crap out and here is where we can set x velocity to the standard arguments i mean to default values so we're going to set x velocity equal to zero here there we go zero and we're going to do the same thing for y velocity because those are just the initial values so i'd be saying to yourself well marty can't you just set them to equal to here yes you can but this is a constructor and this is going to set them equal to defaults and this is going to run as soon as it's as the player class is created so it looks cooler and it's um in my case i see it as a better coding practice as of putting it there so it's really a preference you could do it that way or you could do this way so anyways carrying on now if we compile and run this it's gonna work just fan and dandy unless i'm wrong and hopefully i'm not wrong okay yeah yeah it worked all right so we're good to go here all right so got that messiness cleaned up because you couldn't even see what it was saying because it was like way over here and it was just just a real mind boggler so now we're gonna set a few more arguments so right here we want to set underneath public here because there's a public variable so anybody in the code here can use it we're gonna set a boolean so to create a boolean type b-o-o-l and then you also have to do is type the name of the boolean so ours name is going to be player right whoops that's with h it's player right so with this we're going to use this boolean here later on in the code once we get a sprite working here we're going to want to flip the sprite if he's moving to the right or flip the sprite if he's moving moving to the left so here well what's going to happen when well first we should probably set some default arguments for that as well so we're going to set player player right we can set that to um We'll just set it to to true. So now we're gonna update the boolean player right. So in the update, if player right, so that means if the key right is being pressed, well, why did I name it player right? That's not a good idea. So we should actually name it something else. We should name it face right. Let's be specific with our with our naming of our variables. So face right, we'll set that. So if the player's right, if the right button on the keyboard is being pressed true well he's going to be he's going to be pressing he's going to be facing right so we're going to set player whoops easy caps locks whoa 
player we're gonna set player face right we're gonna set that equal to true and then what's the opposite of pressing the right key well he's gonna be pressing the left key so if he's pressing the left key of course I'm sure you guys are probably already got this all figured out here it's going to be set whoa insert watch out there we go you guys probably got all figured out it's going to be set equal to false so well i'm just going to copy and paste oops ah no capital i always get that a little mixed up be sure no capitals for true for booleans in c++ so we're going to set this true here to a false so that to false and now we are good to go right -oh. so now we're going to create a few more variables here so this one here is going to be a float again because floats are exact they can have decimals but an integer is just a whole number that's like three four five as in a float would be like 3.17.5.2 i don't know why i thought of that number i just did so float and we'll set we'll create this float and this is going to be the uh, x first you go x position of the player so we're just all you have to do is type float x position and that's going to create the variable so now uh, just do the same thing for y val a so y val add a semicolon and now we're going to set the defaults here in the constructor a eh? so we're going to set x position and we're going to set that equal to zero so that means he's going to start in the top left hand screen corner of the screen um is it here okay wh wh whatever i'm not sure if this camera is mixed up but you guys get the point so and then we're going to set y position equal to zero as well all right and now we're going to compile and run it quick a second just to make sure everything works and ooh, uh problem let's see oh i typed the re why did i type that twice okay it's supposed to be yeah yeah y position there we go y position compile and run and i have a feeling we should be your good time to is up your time is what the up. Your oh time okay is okay up. i know your my time, time is, is up all right up. just your just give me five give me five up. here okay your yes your i know that my time is, is up. all right so now we just we, we just up. want to do your just one thing all right. all right oh okay just five seconds five seconds really quickly so we've got flow x position we've got those created we've got them set to default art to default values i should say now we're going to quickly get them updated so to do that all i have to do is type what um x first we should do position at y position and then plus equals and then we're gonna it's gonna add we're gonna add on the y the x position of the x velocity so and then end that with semicolon do the same thing for y so y y plus y fell and now we're going to very quickly print it out on the screen so to print it out on the screen okay first i should tell you what this means this means uh, the x velocity is going to be added to the y position so he will be moved i mean the x velocity is going to be added to the x position so he's going to move across the screen so his x position is going to change now we're just going to quickly really quickly before my countdown timer gets really mad at me we're going to print it out on the screen to prove it works so we'll start with x position and um we should probably end the line yeah why not and line and we should do the same for y position oh god type like a madman here okay there we go almost done almost done we're getting there ah. compile and run and we should be 100 good to go i think hopefully we'll see and all right so i'm gonna press right and my yeah my position is changing all right you can see i'm in like in 2200 so now if i press left all right now it's changing back it's going back down okay we've got some visual progress here sorry we didn't get around to actually we displaying the sprite on the screen we'll get to that next tutorial we've got some y position here updating so now we can take these lines out here really quickly and we got correctly in it setting initial values so we are good to go. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or comments about the C++ tutorial series, leave that down in the comments section. And be sure to leave a like before you leave. And if you guys enjoy what we do and we guys help you out, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be seeing you tomorrow or whenever news breaks. Marsh Marty out. I was recording, right? Okay, hoof. I was recording.